Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so, <clears throat> today, um, I will be showing you how to set up a Thunderbolt Siren in Roblox Studio. Now, this is actually the newer model. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So, basically, it is going to take a while, but, yeah, so, this is if there's no, like, Cyrotrol, you only have the RCM, and the RCM1, and the RCM3, so this is the RCM1, this is the RCM3. So, before setting it up, there are some things that you need, and one thing that you need is the federal timer, so this is one thing that you need. The other thing that you need, and we're actually going to ungroup this first, and this one has the fire signal that you can use, so we use this one right here. So we use the AF timer, and we also need this transformer, we also need this transformer, this federal sign and signal transformer, and the last thing that you need is bell system relay set. So this is your bell system relay set. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to the, the AF timer to the transformer, then the transformer to the bell system relay set, and the bell system relay set to the RCM, the RCM1, and we'll also connect um, the fire signal on this to the, or high-low signal to the RCM3. So, first what you're going to do is make sure you have the Explorer and Properties open. And, oh my god, I'm getting notifications of Xbox Game Bar right now. Um, I'm going to try to hopefully make sure that doesn't happen. So what you're going to do is go to the, go to this right here, and make sure that say, oh, hold on, um, oh, actually, the first thing we need to do is open these up, I'm sorry about that, um, so the first thing you're gonna do is select, go into values, and then output, so the output is gonna be So this is the TR, input of central timer. So, and then also open the transformer, slash TR. And then, <clears throat> the value that says input of central timer. So select that, and in properties, where it says value, select value. And then... The instance that is directly above this instance in the tree, I don't know what that is. So then, so select, um, 
so for the value select output so that now these so the AR timer I mean the AF timer and the TR are connected so now that they're connected then if you need the bell system relay set open the bell system relay set you can close out the AF timer um, and then input a central transformer this value is going to be active this value is going to be active and then output starter so then open the siren model and TC7D select on and the, er, the on is going to be this value So output to start this value is going to be on. So, um, so now that you've connected this to the siren, you've connected these controls to connect the fire signal because we still haven't connected the fire signal um, so where it says fire where it says flasher unit value address oh and by the way um, this one I replaced the audio on this <clears throat> oh by the way um oh I just said that why am I repeating what I said I don't know um so I replaced the audio on this so if you think the audio is working because the, the way it originally came it didn't work so I used existing audio that still worked and I replaced it um so that's how, why it works. Um, so now we're going to go to the Master Unit Value Dress. <clears throat> I have so many voice cracks. Um, now we're going to go to the 8TC7D um, RCN main functional parts. Signature Model 30 Flasher. And then on so then this value will be on and signal troll model 30 flasher so now everything has been set up and now we can test it so now that everything has been set up we can test it so let me select these so that we can move it up Whoops, let's put it right next to the siren. Alright. So now to set this off, you'll need a siren panel key to open the controller. And then 
you can press any signal you want. So let's say you want to do the alert signal, it works. <laughs> no cancel button on the siren there's no cancel button so you cannot cancel it. so each signal runs for three minutes so it'll cancel on its own after three minutes and it also works on the fire signal and all the signals I turn it off. It doesn't power. This is already running. So the reason why the chopper didn't run or, or the blower is because um it's because I left it on. Or I disabled everything while it was turned on. So because this is a newer model, you can kind of like glitch out everything and it's taking a while to go. Um, you can, it's possible to like just glitch everything out, but yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is like just get the um the Cyrotrol RCM and just, and the head and the blower and then just group it. But now it requires a lot more stuff and I actually don't know how to like set I could probably figure this out but it's gonna take a a really long time to figure out like how to group this or connect this to the siren um so yeah i'm just doing this with a siren where like it doesn't actually have the um ar timer an af timer and if you want to do this on like a different thunderbolt siren like a 1000 or 1000t um, it's basically the same thing, except there's no flasher address, or that you have, there's no, like, flasher or flashing unit address that you have to, for the high-low tone that you have to do, and you have, that you have to connect to the RCM3. So, if you want to do this with the 1000 or 1000T, it's the exact same thing that I just showed you, um, by setting it up, but, except you don't have to do the, um, except you don't need to do the, um, the high-low, or fire signal setup, you don't have to connect that if you're connecting a 1000 or 1000T. So, um, 
If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, hopefully this video gets a lot of views and a lot of likes. Oh, I'm just trying to get a view of this little night. Right? There's like, um, wires that, there's like wires in these tubes that connect to it. And there's like, I'm trying to get inside. There's, um, this solenoid right here that it's connected to. Um, and it's connected to two tension springs. Each solenoid is connected to two tension springs. Okay, anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful if you're looking to set up a Thunderbolt Styron. Like a newer model. Um, yeah, and this exact same method also works on any of the newer models, which is... Which is a 1000 or 1000T. This exact same method that I showed you works on those signs as well. You just don't need to do the um, fire signal connecting to the RCM3 because the 1000 and 1000T don't have an RCM3 or fire signal because they don't have the solenoids and they can't do a high level. So, <clears throat> So, it takes less time to do it with the 1000 or 1000T because you don't have to do the high load signal connecting. Um, I don't know why I keep repeating the same thing that I say, and there's a lot of noise going on in the background. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.